How do you know if someone has serious intentions and maybe it's just not the right time or they just keep dangling that carrot to keep you from leaving? Here's the first sign you can look for. Their actions and their words do not match. They are not aligned. They paint these vivid pictures of your future together, the house, the family, the extravagant trips, whatever it is, but their actions just don't match up. Time continues to pass by and they don't do one thing to get any closer to these apparent goals. And sometimes, let's face it, this can be really serious. Let's look at a comment that illustrates that well. But first, let me introduce myself. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina and I'm a narcissistic abuse recovery coach. And I specialize in helping you break those tricky, sticky trauma bonds that can seem to take over your life. So if you feel like you need one-on-one -on -one support, there's a link in the description that'll give you more information on coaching. Now for the comment that shows the dangers of buying into future faking. This commenter says, yep, my last boyfriend promised it all to me, never ending love, marriage, and children. I was 41 and on the pathway to have a child as a single mother when we met. He convinced me to stop saying, don't worry, darling, we will have a baby of our own. He totally fooled me and I put my whole heart into our quote unquote relationship. 18 months later, I was suddenly and coldly dumped. He did a complete 180. I never wanted marriage. I don't think I ever want to be married. Kids? What are you talking about? No way. After he dumped me, I realized I was too old. My own eggs could no longer make a baby. But after three rounds of IVF with my own eggs, I was lucky enough to get pregnant with my precious, beautiful donor egg daughter. I gave birth to her at 45. She's nine months old and just perfect the baby I was always meant to have. But I don't think I will ever seek out a relationship ever again. Burned and duped too many times. So thankfully this one had a happy ending, but that's not always the case. Sometimes if you wait for someone who's future faking, you might miss out on an opportunity. So keep that in mind as we go through the rest of this list. The second sign you're dealing with future faking is that this person keeps kicking the can down the road. So everything is always postponed. Moving in together, getting engaged, combining finances, there's always some excuse to postpone big steps. But this is where the sunk cost fallacy comes in. You've already invested so much and they've got you believing that you're close to the finish line. If you walk away now, it feels like you'll have to start all over again with someone else. So if you're in this place, be real with yourself. Consider whether you're staying because you're seeing real progress or you're staying because of how much you've already invested. Because it doesn't matter how much you've already invested if it's going nowhere. It's like that saying, you're throwing good money after bad. That saying means that you're dumping more of your good hard-earned money into something in order to recoup losses on what's really a lost cause anyway. So in the case of future faking, that saying definitely applies if you just replace the word money with the word time. You're throwing good time towards a lost cause. And here's a comment from someone who has experience with this type of future faking. Of all the lies he told, future faking was what hurt the most. They basically just stand in the way of your dreams just to punish you. It is pure evil in my opinion, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's a good point about the goalpost moving. That's exactly what he was doing. Also, outright sabotage in the things I was trying to achieve on several occasions, just to throw a wrench in what I was working on. It also keeps you stuck in the relationship because you feel close to achieving that dream with that person. All very true. I feel like that comment very well sums up what it's like to deal with future faking. And so now on to the next sign. The next sign you're dealing with future faking is that there may be emotional manipulation. When you want to have a very real conversation about your goals, the other person will make you feel guilty for doubting them. They'll pull out those empty promises like a trump card pulling at your heartstrings and reminding you of the dreams you shared. And this, especially when combined with number one, makes you wonder whether this person has a heart at all. Future faking could possibly be over small things, but when it counts, it's over some really major life decisions. And how could someone with a conscience knowingly play with someone's life like that? It's hard to fathom. Here's a comment that really encapsulates that frustration. How he cheated, all those future faking, gaslighting, then triangulations. It was brutal. So now I think if he ever even one second considered me a human, a human with a heart and soul, a human with emotions, I guess never. I was always a supply. 
It really hurts sometimes, but I will recover someday completely. Yes, you will recover completely someday. And it's not so much that they don't think of people as human, it's more that they don't consider other people at all, aside from how those people might serve them. So narcissists rarely spend a moment thinking about how they're hurting you. They're solely focused on what they're getting and how you can help them keep getting it. So this next sign of future faking might make it seem like the world is plotting against you. But when you take a closer look, you realize that it's really the other person who seems to be manufacturing obstacles to ruin the plans so they can have an excuse when the goals aren't met. And this is just more of a stalling tactic to keep stringing you along. And here's a comment that drives that home really well. My next was always future faking. We were together for six years. And by year three, I would start to roll my eyes and be like, yawn emoji. Every time she would talk about where we would be in five years, yet doing nothing to make it happen slash sabotaging it. And here's a reply to that comment from someone who had been through it too. Four years in and the same. When he says, I'm trying really hard, I want to live with you, I've learned to ignore it and have no expectation. So if you're dealing with future faking, you may notice all the things that we've talked about here, or maybe just a few, but then the other person will actually blame you for not being further along. When you've been the only one putting in any real effort, you deserve so much better. And if you've dealt with future faking and you're on the other side, I have a video that I know you're gonna to wanna to watch. It's about the narcissist's karma and how you may have played a role because things are not always what they seem. So that video is gonna pop up on the screen right now. Go ahead and click to watch. But first, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button before you leave and I'll see you next time.